Hello, my friends, and welcome to another devotional connection. I don't know how God works in your life, but lately he's been having me repeat some simple lessons on patience, trust, and how I respond to things. It's no secret to anyone that life can hit hard. Everyone is going through something, and everyone's circumstances are different. Your difficulties might seem like a cakewalk to others and vice versa. The reality is your particular issue has been either tailor-made or amplified by unseen forces to know exactly what buttons to push in your journey to make you desire to fold, quit, or flat out make you ineffective as a child of God. You become so focused on your woes and surviving your current situation that you become of no use to anyone else. You're losing your connections, you lose your way, and sometimes you feel like you're losing your mind. I honestly don't know how those who aren't followers of Christ make it through because it is difficult enough to walk around with a target on your back for the whole demonic world to see. That's how it can feel sometimes. I'll acknowledge that. Now, if you can just pause for a moment and come out of your feelings, I want to share with you the truth of things. Here's the truth. It doesn't have to be this way. Not one drop, not at all. And I'm speaking to you as one who struggles with this from time to time and have to be reminded of who God is. Not one time in recorded history have you ever heard of God taking a loss. He reigns as the undisputed champion of all things. Matter of fact, before we knew the name Jesus, the Bible says, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Exodus 15, 2 through 3. A warrior, it says. Of all the descriptions of Jesus, we often leave that one out. Exodus 14, 14 reads, The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. In talking to his disciples and quelling their fears about what's happening next, Jesus told them, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 16, 10. And Revelation chapter 12, 10 through 11 reads, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they have overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. These are just a few off the top of my head that I'm reminded of every time I get overwhelmed by life. What do they mean to me? Simply this. I do not have to rely on my own strength to get through this. I will not be overwhelmed by this world and all that the powers of those designated for hell can throw at me. I serve a God who doesn't run from a fight, who has never been defeated, not even by death, and who reminds me that I will overcome by what he did on the cross and the word of my testimony. It means that he, what he did for others, even in the Bible, he will do for me. What he did before, he will do again. He is the same God now as he was back then. Be still, he says. And if you read Psalm 16, 10 carefully, it seems as if he was telling the enemies of Israel to be still. When is the last time you commanded your problems to be still under the authority of the Most High God, who also just happens to be my Father? There is a reason why so many songs 
dedicated to, are dedicated to God's victory. Why so many chant his name and sing his praises, even while they are seemingly about to be overrun. Why slaves would sing songs of worship and praise even while being taken from their homes in chains. The reason is because he is that good. Do not let this world and its circumstances make you believe anything other than this. God will see you through right to the end. He has not forgotten, forsaken, or ignored any of us. It may seem difficult, but reread Matthew 19 and focus on the words of Jesus in verse 26. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Talk to you again soon.